43 seconds left to go and move downfield 67 yards. Boy, keep your eye on number seven. Keep Jacob your eye Johnson. on number 17 covering him. And Todd Black's back in the ball game. He's not going to rest. Jacob Johnson split to the near side. McGinley back to pass. Good coverage going deep. He's got Johnson. Oh, he fell down. Incomplete. Johnson broke open, fell down, then Tate Muir recovered. And the pass is incomplete, down to 27 seconds. This is one of those times, Coach, where I would imagine it would be just agonizing to be a coach on the sidelines. You want to look around and be able to go out there and pop somebody, don't you? How can you stand to stand there? Well, a thousand things are rushing through your mind. The one thing you can't do is panic. In high school, big plays happen more frequently. McGinley. Looking to the near side. Get out of bounds. That's Get out Jeremy of bounds. Go back in. And he is out of bounds. He made it. <laughs> yeah, you can't cut it inside with only 18 yeah. seconds to go. But he did get out of bounds. The ball now in Roseburg territory. And there's the replay. And watch, he tries to cut it upfield right here. He starts right there. Oh, then he says, I, better, I don't belong here. <laughs> oh. Boy, the Indians were trying to keep him from getting over there. We're down to 18 seconds to play. Tiger trails 14 to 7. Can Roseburg get that elusive state championship victory? McGinley to pass. He's going deep. Gavin Stanley. And out of bounds. Stanley caught the ball at the 23 yard line. Oh, what a catch! And he's out of bounds with 11 seconds to go. And now you've got the arm in McGinley to be able to go to the end zone with your pass. Boy, Danny McGinley right on target. Look at that composure. And there's number six again. Boy, has he made some wow. catches today. That's the second time he's caught it right before going out of bounds, maintained his composure enough to make sure the catch was good. Gavin Stanley has had himself an outstanding game for Tiger. Hey, guys, we're not finished yet. <laughs> What I thought last year. <laughs> I thought last year was a remarkable finish. Look at what we're going through right now. 11 seconds left. That gives McKinley time for what? Two plays to the end zone? Two at least. Plus they have timeout. So, uh, boy, lots of things can happen with these kinds of athletes, especially. Boy, when you take a look at what these two teams have been through this year, this is their 14th game, and it comes down to the last 11 seconds. Hang on, everybody. Here we go. First and 10 from the 23. McGinley in the end zone. Uh oh, it's intercepted. Johnson. He caught it. He caught it. Touchdown, Tiger. <laughs> he flat out took it away. It looked like Black had a sure interception, and Johnson just reached up with that tall body of his and pulled it out of his hands. Four seconds left to play. <laughs> and Tigert has come back to cut the margin to 14 to 13. Now, I mean, these, these are situations you dream about. Down by one. Are you going to go for two or are you going to share the championship? I think you there's, go for two. Don't there's you no coach? question in my mind. I'd go for two. And, uh, it, you know, tying's like kissing your sister. Uh, it's all right. It's not all are, bad, there are you know. Better but, things, uh, aren't they? <laughs> you know, the difference in that last play, coach, might have been the punishment that. Uh, Todd Black has been getting the whole game and maybe just not being able to jump quite as high as he normally would. Boy, the timeout on the field where Haston was talking to his crew and they are going to go for the extra point. They're going, they're going to, at least they're going to line up for it. They are. They're going to go for the extra point. It looks like they're going to go With for one. four seconds left. You know, and you can understand this, too, from a coaching position. Everything you've been through this year, all the hard work, at least for your players, you want to come back with something. What better way for this game to end? As much oh. entertainment as these kids have provided today, uh, what a paying tribute to have it tied Plus, up. Plus, they've had trouble punching it in from here. The kick is up. It's and good. 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 Tiger has come back with four seconds left to play to tie the ball game at 14. And you can respect that decision for Coach Haston. He did it for his players. He wanted them to come out of this ball game with something. Absolutely. And that's the type of guy Coach Haston is. 
He's uh, he's in it for the kids, and and uh, a lot of respect for that call. Here's Coach, the I replay. Think, it looked like he pulled it a little bit. He left. did, but it's there's enough just to get inside the uprights. I think another point here we should make, though, coaches. Woo. <laughs> how many times today has Tiger been down there at that yardage line and been unsuccessful? If you've been Come successful with, in that nothing. situation, time after time, then maybe you go for two, but they haven't been today. Right. And exactly you got to go with right, that decision. Ron. Is that a situation where he goes to his players and asks them what they want to do? I don't think so. You got 11 kids on the field. You're going to get 11 different answers, <laughs> and then some guy wants to put on a clinic. Yeah. Uh, Coach has to make those calls, and I think uh, Coach Hastings did this one for the kids. He made that decision. What a phenomenal game, ladies and gentlemen. We're tied at 14 with four seconds left to go. Onside kick. Nah. Well, well, you, you really uh, don't have the time. I, I don't think, think so either, huh? Just kick uh, it, squib it, make sure they don't run it back. Yeah, I would absolutely kick it deep, uh, whoever the returner. And Jacob Johnson's a great kicker. Uh, they're going to have to return it the whole length of the field. Well, here's why, I, do that. here's why I think maybe you try for the uh, onside kick. It's going to take four seconds. I don't want Fogel to have a chance to get his hands on the ball and run it back. But the ball doesn't start, the time doesn't start until the offense gets back out on the field. So that's why uh, we have you up here, Coach, to keep boy, us running. this is a real clean up here <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Johnson the kickoff for Tiger and he keeps it on the ground whoa now that ball's Careful. live now and it's the over. clock starts right now let's see what Bobo can got do it. it's the last play of the game and he's down and the game is over and we have co-champions Tiger and Roseburg tie at 14 in an unbelievable state championship game. A fitting tribute to the end of this game. Tiger down by seven. They come back and score with four seconds left to play. Kick the extra point to tie the game at 14, and that's the way that it ends. There is no sudden death overtime. You know, Jerry Murphy has an interesting assignment right now because we told him to talk to the winning coach after the game. Who's he going to talk to? Well, he's he got to get them both side by side, doesn't he? <laughs> he has his work cut out for him, definitely. And I'm sure that the players are, are a little bit down right now on both sides. But I'll, I'll we tell talked you about it. down. We talked Roseburg's about it earlier. Be down because Tiger came back Roseburg to Roseburg is down. Uh, and especially Thurman Bell. Yep. Uh, I, I just, uh, you know, he... He uh, was so keyed up for this ball game, and uh, I think the tie hurts him. Coach, worse. I think we have Thurman Bell down on the field. Let's go to Jerry Murphy. Jerry.